Once again, this is your search buddy, Professor Haggard, and thank you for visiting this channel. For those who are new to this channel, please do not forget to click like and subscribe. This video will be all about theoretical framework. Okay, so today we will discuss about theoretical framework. So let us start. So before discussing to you, before talking about how we are going to formulate our own theoretical framework, first let us define kung ano ba ang theoretical framework. So what is theoretical framework? Theoretical framework presents and describes the theory which clarifies why the research problem of the study exists. So ibig sabihin, yung theoretical framework daw ay nagpipresent ng theory na pinagbabasihan ng ating research problem. Okay? And this is a model that represents the theory which serves as the basis for the study. So, basically speaking, we are going to create a model that will represent the theory na basihan ng ating research or our study. Okay, so, that is all about theoretical framework. So, we have steps in formulating a theoretical framework. So, first is to identify the fundamental concepts of the study. So, later on, papaliwanag ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga examples ng fundamental concepts based on a certain situation. So, step two, we have to review theories related to your concepts. So, kinakailangan din maghanap tayo ng mga theories which, of course, related sa kung study na ginagawa natin na related, of course, again, sa ginagawa nating research. So, we have step three is to determine what theory fits your study. So, after reviewing those different theories na gagawin natin, ay pipili tayo ng theory na swak na swak sa kung anong research na ginagawa natin. So, that is the step three. And the last step would be the step four, which is to formulate theoretical framework based from that theory. So, para makagawa tayo yung theoretical framework, of course, basically, kinakailangan meron tayong theory. So, Step one, let us start. So, what is step one? So, step one was about identifying the fundamental concepts. So, let's just say this is the situation. So, teachers, let me read. Teachers of Hero Academy are having a problem because majority of their students after Christmas breaks are absent. So, usually kapag Christmas break daw sa kanila, majority ng estudyante ng Hero Academy ay absent. Okay, so some of the teachers who develop a reward system for those students who won't be making absences, showed better number of attendance. Yung mga teachers na gumagawa ng reward system, na yung mga estudyante daw, kapag hindi absent ay merong reward na matatanggap, those sections, those particular classes, showed better number of attendance. Okay? The academy wants to improve students' attendance and believes that improved learning motivation will be very effective to achieve their Go so that we can narrow down the concepts. So, what we're going to do is for us to identify the problem statement. So, mainly the problem statement of the situation would be majority of the students are absent after Christmas breaks. So, yun yung problem statement. So, let us go to research question naman. So, research question. The main research question of the situation would be how can learning motivation of Hero Academy be improved in order to improve students' attendance? So, paano daw yung learning motivation ng Hero Academy may improve para na siguro may improve din yung students' attendance, di ba? So, that would lead us, of course, yung research question na yan, itutulong sa atin para mag-investigate ng different theories, di ba? So, I hope meron na kang idea dito pa lang sa step one. So, in this step one, we are to identify concepts. So, the concept would be learning motivation and students' attendance. Okay? So, of course, we are going to be focusing on learning motivation. Magahanap tayo ng mga tours because that is very important concept involved in our study. Okay? Along with the students' attendance. Pero mas focus tayo ngayon sa learning motivation. So, what we're going to do is step two. So, the step two is for us, of course, to review related theories related, of course, to our study. So, we are focusing on learning motivation. So, I have here a sample literature review. 
So, in connection to incentive theory, so una dyan ay yung incentive theory. So, in connection to incentive theory, so by the way, itong literature review, I'm just clarifying na hindi ito yung buong literature review. I just made it up for you to understand well kung anong gusto kong ipa rating. Okay? So, in connection to incentive theory, which was originally authored by psychologist Burroughs Frederick Skinner, which was supported by Cherry, explains that we are motivated to perform activities due to our internal desires and that our behaviors at times are passionate by the desire for external rewards. Yun yung unang theory, which is about incentive theory. However, Lord Kosky supports the ARCS or Attention, Relevance, Confidence, Satisfaction model, which explains that humans' motivation are associated with behavior and emotion, which also emphasize how students can be motivated directly through the use of attractive, satisfying, and stimulating learning material. So, kapag gumagawa tayo ng theoretical framework, it is of course very important na gagawa tayo ng literature review, which of course review rel related theories. Nang sa ganon, magawa nating mas scan, magawa nating mas study yung iba't ibang theories na maaring related sa ating ginagawang study. So, doon sa paggawa natin literature review, maaari nating mapili o ma-pinpoint kung ano yung theory na mas dapat na maging basihan ng ating study. So, the next part of the step 2 is of course the step 3. So, step 3, the incentive theory will be used in the current study since it fits the context of the study. So, kung iisipin natin ngayon, yung incentive theory is yung napili natin as the theory na magiging basihan na ating current study. So, step 3 was about to identify the theory the fit, that fits your study. So, yung context ng study natin. So, if you could remember the situation, this is part of the situation I gave you a while ago. So, this is part of the context of the study. Some of the teachers who develop a reward system for those students who won't be making absences showed better number of attendance. Diba? So, yung incentive theory was about this one. So, of course, pipiliin natin yung incentive theory. Alright? So, that is about step 3. So, again, yung napili natin na theory is incentive theory. So, we have here the problem. The problem. Teachers of Hero Academy are having a problem because majority of their students after Christmas breaks are absent. So, if you remember, this is the whole problem. So, again, the reason why ito yung pinili natin because of this particular context ng problem, okay? which talks about the reward system. So which leads us, of course, to step four. So in step four, okay, for step four, we are going to create a theoretical framework out of the theory na napili natin. So for step four, gagawa tayo ng theoretical framework out of the theory na napili natin na swak na swak para sa ginagawa nating study. So, this is how it goes. So, this is the theory. So, Cherry explains that we are motivated to perform activities due to our internal desires and our, our behaviors and at times are passionate by, des by a desire for external rewards. So, kung iintindi na natin yung sinasabi nito, that learning motivation, yung learning motivation daw ay due to these internal desires and also for external rewards. This activities represents yung actions natin which of course can be seen um, yun yung pwede natin yung observe if we're looking for a person who is, who is motivated. So this would be actions and behavior. So this is how we're going to create the theoretical framework out of this theory. So we have of course the learning motivation which can be seen through our actions and behaviors. So for this, learners' actions and learners' behaviors. And those that learner actions and learner behaviors are affected, so particularly the internal desires affect the learners' actions, and then the external rewards affect the learners' behavior. And of course, hindi natin dapat kalimutan, kung internal desire, your mga internal desires affect learning motivation and also the external rewards affect the learning motivation. So that is how simple it is to formulate theoretical framework. 
the very important thing is kinakailangan lang talaga natin maghanap ng theory na related sa ating research. So, in this particular theoretical framework, makakatulong ito kung paano tayo gagawa ng survey questions, for example. So, for example, learning motivation. Uh, we can formulate interview questions. We can formulate our, our inquiries, our investigation. Pwede tayong mag-focus, of course, sa learners' actions. And it could be also the learners' behaviors para din ma-identify natin ng mas maayos kung Sino, for example, yung pinaka-motivated, okay? And of course, we can also direct yung paggawa natin ng intervention sa paggawa ng mga activities na nakaka-drive ng internal desires, di ba? Or we can create some system na nagpo-promote din ng external rewards so that we can develop or improve the learning motivation, di ba? So that is how helpful theoretical framework is in our study. And I have here, this is the theoretical framework. So do not forget when you are going to create theoretical framework to always cite the reference. Okay? Or the references. Kinakailangan meron tayong citation. Okay? Even in creating the theoretical background. So you have there cherry as basis ng ating theoretical framework. So uh, I know that you can do better than this, all right? So, I hope, I hope I help you guys with how you can create your own theoretical framework. So, lastly, I have your reminder. So, remember, there are no standard rules for structuring a theoretical framework. The important thing is to create a clear and logical structure. So, kung nakagawa ka ng theoretical framework na ikaw mismo, hindi mo maintindihan, you are really doing it wrong. Okay? So that is my rem reminder. So I guess that would be all for this vlog and see you next time.